already did the Avon grip on the right head, which was a, the one on the throttle too, which is the hardest part of the install when you're doing the grips. Now, the left side grip is just a piece of rubber. Use a razor blade, cut it off, make sure everything's clean. The cool thing about these Avons is that you don't need to put any glue, okay? It just slides right in, okay? All the way, obviously. And it jams up because it's got some little notches inside, so it kind of squeezes onto the handlebar. And then you're gonna use the Allen to finish up the locking procedure at the end once we push them in. So let's just make sure it's pointing and matching the other side, the Avon, right? You wanna make sure it looks professionally done. There you go, buddy. It's in. Avon looks good. Matches the other side. If I could turn it a little bit. Okay. Look at this. Perfect fit. It goes all the way to the actual switch. Got it? Now we go ahead, get in here, and if you guys can see these little Allens, just turn the little Allens in towards. You're going to twist them to the right so you can actually lock them in to the actual handlebar tube. All right, and you do this on the next one. It's got three of these. And this, little, this is gonna secure that your grip does not fall off when you're driving, right? And you wanna have a nice, smooth ride wherever you're gonna go. If it's LA, wherever. You wanna be, number one thing we always Say safety first, all right? We don't want no injuries. As it is, we're already getting, us motorcycle riders are getting ran over by cars that are not looking for us, so. We gotta be safe ourselves as far as our equipment being professionally done, installed, and actually try to go with the best equipment you could buy. Sometimes when you cheap out a little bit, you could put your life in danger. Okay, so there we are. Beautiful. Huh? What's this look like? Nice Avon grips. Beautiful grip, man. It's nice and soft, smooth. Eighth inch play over here on our throttle tube. Boom. Let's go right. Now the next step right here, guys. Don't forget, stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and bleed out the brake line, okay? For this front brake, because we're actually going uh, plus 10 cable for plus 10 H bars. All we gotta do is that. That'll be the other part of finishing this install. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the risers bushings here because this H bar just wiggles everywhere, which is gonna get rid of that and make sure your ride is super stable. Stay tuned for our number four video, which is gonna be, I believe it's number five, which is gonna be the brake, cable install, and bleeding coming up next. Thank you.